Good evening. Tonight I'd like to go ahead and elaborate on the actual procedure of Elisha, particularly with direct Elisha. Now, as mentioned previously, there are other Elisha methods, such as the indirect and sandwich versions, but these versions require a few extra steps. So, to keep uh, it simple, we'll focus on the direct version only. For starters, a standard curve is created by a serial dilution of an antigen in question, say an almond protein containing an antigen that causes allergic reactions. A blank is also created to give a, us a baseline. The next step is to test our food in question, say for instance, orange juice, granola, and protein powder. Diluted and prepared solutions of these foods are created and they're also given a designation number or letter. Um, in our case we designated R's and letters. A would stand for OJ, B would stand for granola, and C would stand for protein powder. Solutions A, B, and C are placed in their respective wells, as you can see. As the solutions are in the wells, the entire Elisha plate is covered to minimize the contamination and is allowed to incubate for three hours at room temperature. After three hours, the excess solution from the wells are discarded. The wells are then washed with 200 microliters of buffer solution. Uh, the excess is removed. Through this process, the protein, including the protein with the antigens, adhere to the well walls. Elisha wells have high affinity to proteins in general. As the next step, 200 microliters of blocking standard BSA protein is added to the wells. It's incubated for one hour at room temperature. The excess is then removed. The buffer is once again used to wash the wells. Okay. Through this process, the entire well are covered with proteins. This prevents false readings of antibodies attaching to the well's surface rather than on their respective target antigen. For the next step, 100 microliters of solution containing the antibodies of that target antigen of interest is added in. The antibodies have enzymes attached to them, which uh, we'll go ahead and discuss a little later. It's allowed to incubate again for one hour at room temperature. The excess is removed and washed uh, with the same buffer solution. Through this process, the antibodies attach to the antigens of interest on the walls of the wells. Next, 100 microliters of a solution containing substrate to those attached enzymes mentioned earlier is added in. As the plate sits, a blue color is formed. This process causes the colorless substrate to complex with the enzyme which produces an overall blue color. The more blue color there is, the more the target antigen is present. To stop this reaction from continuing, an acid is added in which immediately causes the blue color to turn into a yellow color. This is what it looks like at the molecular level. 
As you can see, product B, granola, contained the most target almond antigen. Product C, protein powder, contained some of the antigen. Finally, product A, OJ, has no target antigen. To be more accurate, the Elisha plate is placed on an Elisha reader which is set to an absorbance reading value of 450 nanometers. Solid numeric results are given and analyzed on Excel. All in all, this was a brief explanation of the actual physical procedures researchers can do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.